Over here, we will be talking about the kinetics of a nucleophilic substitution, SN1. Now, when we talk about kinetics in chemistry, what we mean is actually the rate of reaction. How fast a reaction occurs, and what are the factors that affect it. So, let's start with SN1 first. And we know SN1 is being favoured by what kind of Helga halide? Tertiary. So, let me just use this example here. A tertiary alkyl chloride in this case. Now remember, in the first step, what happens is the self-dissociation of the leaving group. This bond will just break. The first step. So step one, we are just losing the leaving group. And since we know that bond breaking is merely endothermic reaction, endothermic reaction, in the energy profile, what we should see will be starting at this level and ending over here will be a bit higher. All right. Now, what does it form? Recall that after the first step, it will form a carbocation ion. Positive charge, R and R. Don't forget, you have a chloride being ejected. Now, since the reaction only involves bond breaking, it is a slow step. This is slow. Okay. When you talk about slow, what we mean is it has a very high activation energy. That means the energy barrier of this mechanism is high. So the hump here is huge. Right. Recall from this point to the highest point here, this is your activation energy for the first step. Now, in the next step, we notice that the nucleophile, that is the reaction arrow, the nucleophile would come in and join to the carbon here. So let me just use NUC, a nucleophile, with a lone pair of electron, and you just attack this carbon. This step is actually fast. Step two is fast. Why is it fast? This carbon here is electron deficient, and the nucleophile provides electrons there. So we have an instant charge attraction. Now eventually, you get your product here. with the incoming group, nucleophile, join. Okay. So this step is fast, meaning it will have a much lower activation energy. And the product here should be lower than before, because here the carbon has not achieved the noble gas configuration. Right now, let's make it exothermic. The energy barrier is much lower, because of the charge attraction is fast, so this is your EA2. Do you see, comparatively, the height difference? See? So much difference. Now, we know that the kinetics of any chemical reaction, we have what we call the rate equation. So we always look at the rate determining step, the slow step in this case. Now, in the slow step, which is step one, we only involve one reactant, and that's the alcohol halide. So for SM1 mechanism, the order of reaction will be just one, it depends on the alkyl halide. So let me just use Rx to represent the alkyl halide. And this is power one because there's only one molecule of this that's reacting. There's no other molecules that combine with it in the slower step. That represents the rate equation. And from here, we know that overall order is the sum of this power of the concentration is one. Which means to say that if I increase the concentration of my nucleophile, is not going to affect my SN1 reaction because it does not play a part in the slow step. However, if I double the concentration of the alkyl halide, it will double the rate of reaction because it's directly proportional to it. So you can link it back to what you have learned that SN1 here could also mean a, a first order reaction. First order reaction.